Hello and welcome to Webster University to our incoming freshman class. My name's Craig Skinner and usually you can find me in my office in the Academic Advising Center where I'm Senior Academic Advisor for our undergraduate students. But today we've got a beautiful sunny day, spring is on its way, and I'm enjoying a little walk around campus. And while I do, I figured we could chat a little bit about learning communities here at Webster. Since I know that many of you are going to be having your first academic advising appointments where you'll build your first fall schedule. Learning communities are a great way to dive right into the college experience at Webster. And today I thought we could cover the who, what, where, when, and whys behind LCs here at Webster. So, who are learning communities designed for? Learning communities are meant for new Webster students beginning at the university in the fall semester of the academic year. And anyone that's interested in building a network from the very beginning of their college experience that includes friends, instructors, senior class mentors, people that you'll remain connected to throughout your time at Webster would benefit from participating in an LC. Whether you're looking to get connected to people who share your academic interests or interests outside of the classroom, there is something for everybody. So what is a learning community? Well, a learning community is a dynamic learning experience that takes place throughout fall semester and involves a small cohort of students taking a pocket of classes together courses that were designed specifically with the learning community experience in mind by faculty who reach out and regularly communicate so that all the students have a cohesive experience across courses. Where do learning communities take place? Well, inside the classroom, but also outside the classroom. There are a lot of opportunities built into each learning community to explore your field by immersive and active experiences outside the traditional classroom setting. When does this occur? The formal learning community experience runs through the fall semester of the academic year, but the relationships that you build during your time in the learning community have the potential to last a lifetime. And why would you choose to participate in a learning community? Well, whether you're from the area or you're coming in as an out-of-state student, there's an opportunity for you to have some of the most difficult things about college, making friends, already built into the semester. Uh, I find that my students that have participated in learning communities feel more connected to their instructors, to their fields, and they have more opportunities to begin the type of mentorship relationships that lead to research opportunities, unique study opportunities earlier on. And we also find that students that participate in learning communities have an overall better time and are more academically successful. So why wouldn't you participate? Now, if you're interested in finding out how to get registered for a learning community, it's as easy as speaking to your academic advisor in your academic advising appointment. They'll be able to go over all of the different options and find one that suits you and your interests. And during that appointment, get you registered for the appropriate classes for that LC. If you have any questions, or would like more information about learning communities, feel free to reach out to me at advising at webster.edu. Thanks for sharing this walk with me, and again, welcome to Webster.